Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have quite a few different things to go and cover up all throughout today, where we have actually do have, once again, a lot of nice little PlayStation 5 restocks ongoing all throughout today. We have the in-stores, we have online, we got a little bit of everything as per usual, and at the end of the day, I just hope a lot of you guys have a chance to get your consoles and have a lovely, fantastic day. So, I'm going to talk about that, talk about random things, and as well, we'll have a lot more random news all showing up all throughout these next few days, too, as well. So... We just have a lot of good stuff hopefully going on. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway going on. The $500 Xbox for all the other good stuff too as well. All linked down below if you guys want to join. We have the Twitter and Twitch room for those bonus entries and Target links and Amazon links too. Which I think will actually be pretty relevant all throughout today on this video. So we're going to go talk about that quite heavily. So let's go talk about a bunch of random stuff. Have a bunch of random good times. And let's just go and have hopefully a fantastic day. So... Very first and foremost, hello. How's everyone doing? Uh, I think, I feel like yesterday was kind of a boring news day, so hopefully today has more stuff going on. Very first and foremost, we got a lot of random news to go and cover up over here. So, kind of funny. <laughs> we have once again even more GameStop news. So, I canceled my Walmart order, which I think some folks are actually still having issues, funny enough, receiving. For some odd reason, a lot of folks just haven't gotten their Walmart orders or haven't had the hookup with that for whatever reason at all. But yeah, it does kind of seem like Walmart itself is a little bit more on the backlog side but one nice thing to keep on saying is that GameStop does somehow seemingly keep on getting and receiving stock we've been seeing GameStop stores still having walk-in stock available you have like actual bundles too as well going out for GameStop too so if you guys do want to check and call your local areas call your local store or whatever or just even walk on in some stores at this point might be sold out. I mean, for a lot of these locations, when it comes to online or in stores or whatever, it's kind of all over the place, too. I just keep on encouraging you guys to go check and go get your stock and do whatever. Just trying my best to make sure you guys all have it for the holidays, for moms, dads, parents, or whatever. But basically, GameStop is at a huge amount of stock still. A lot of stores open up at 11 o'clock, so call your stores or you know, just ask in the background. Be like, hey, I've been here. Like, call three stores, and I think you could probably go and find a console if you guys want to go check your in stores or check your local stock. But all around, GameStop's been doing good. We also have still been hearing a few locations having some bundle stock, depending you know, on how the vibe kind of goes. So we'll keep that in mind. Uh, so if you just in case you guys are curious, some are doing like normal consoles and a controller. Some are doing that, plus a God of War or a game, or some people are just doing the bundles. So we've been seeing a mixture of both. Some non-bundles and some pure bundles. But we haven't seen a bigger influx of just having normal additional stock. Now, as we've also been talking a lot for the walk-ins too, man, we've been seeing so many Target stores, but just for me, like, if you guys would have asked me two years ago, this is money just to see. So this was in regards to, like, a nice little Target side as well. We also have still been seeing other in-stores too. But basically, keep on checking your local store just for other proof showing you guys. Well, uh, Waco, Texas Target on both queue had one left. And like how they're like, yeah, just go up there. But <laughs> basically, just letting you guys know, he's just kind of more so showing nationwide. A lot of stores still have stock, a lot of locations still have stock, and we all have just been seeing all around good vibes with everything with it. So keep on checking your stores if you guys want. We're kind of like, I'm not sure how the next week or so is going to be, because we also are prepping up for the God of, uh, not God of War, uh, basically also for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So we might have a huge influx and then kind of stock might taper down. And then as all the stock kind of tapers down, then we might have like another big influx of new stock in like, you know, November, uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all that. But if you guys want to use the links down below, people have still been checking out. I keep on just seeing on the affiliate links. Uh, if you guys use the Target link down below, there should be a lot of locations, a lot of stock. Or if you guys don't have your 50-mile radius for, like, any stock showing up, either on limited edition stock or general stock, be on the lookout for it because we can uh, kind of build just, I don't know, just some stores you just have to call. Some stores have stock in-house. Just kind of depends on a lot of different various things. So, good stuff with that. Now, other big things to note, too, and just a quick note is Amazon. Now, as we have been mentioning a lot when it comes to Amazon, too, uh, Amazon does have some good old signups, so make sure you guys are signed up. We have been seeing people getting stock too as well. I do think it's going to be an, another ongoing uh, Amazon drop, which we'll be able to do a reminder video maybe later on throughout today or combination of that with other news as well if there's more stuff coming out. But basically, Amazon has still been getting either pseudo like in, in, invitations like within like a second or so. Uh, not within a second, but like within an hour or so, if you sign up for all four of the links, which I do think we have linked down below. Like I said, I think they're prepping up another drop too, so I'm not sure if they're going to start and kind of calming down like the really quick email invites out. And then maybe start building up stock for maybe the next upcoming one. So just keep that in mind as well. We'll just watch. We'll see. We'll see how everything kind of plays on out. But we have still been seeing stock with that. And also still with same, same with our Amazon little weird stores. So, so far, it, was, it also kind of seemed like we're still seeing stock, although maybe it did calm down a little baby smidgen bit. 
But it does seem like Target's looking good, GameStop's looking good, and all that. Now, other thing, things to notice still on the Walmart side. Now, Walmart, we actually have not, this is like the one place we haven't seen a lot of. So if you guys do check your Walmart stores, call your Walmart stores, or just around for your Walmart stores or whatever, let me know how it goes. I just kind of want to know the vibe. So I'm kind of just curious on that. But basically, when it comes to stock and stock movement, we have heard a lot of Walmart stores the past few weeks having stock. This one, for some other reason, we just haven't seen as often for whatever reason. Uh, so just keep that in mind as we're watching stock, looking for stock. If it goes good, it goes good. If it doesn't, we've still been seeing a lot of Target GameStop stores instead. And so, like, that might be a better place to look, but go and check for that. Also, we were looking yesterday. Let me open up the other links for it, too, really quick. But Walmart basically was also being a little iffy. Some folks were saying they were checking out and getting stock. Some places were it was looking out of stock as we kept on looking. I'll do another quick scroll through just for Walmart. But if you guys do want to check online just to see if they do show up, like, it looks like there might be one here. But uh, every single time we've looked on the website, it's always like somewhat different. And a lot of these are like third party prices and scalper prices too. So also do keep that in mind as well when it does come with their stock and everything else. But uh, yeah, when it comes to that stuff, we're looking at Walmart, uh, looking like everything's going good. Check online, I guess, and go and see in stores, I guess, dependent, but check online for that. Now, we also have still been seeing the Ant Online, which is surprisingly still doing fine. They had another, I guess, apparent little wave of stock come out. Both the digital stocks are now gone as we mentioned yesterday, but there still is four other options in case you guys just want to have it locked on in. Maybe you don't want to check stores or online, uh, or it just might be sketchy for Walmart's later on delivery. But when it does come with the Horizon bundles as well, I'd probably still say get one of these cheaper bundles. Uh, God of War Ragnarok has been a good game. I keep on playing up on Twitch. Definitely follow the Twitch and say what's up. But uh, as we go through all this stuff, you guys can kind of see. We do have the nice little Horizon bundle with God of War with the extra controller. Expensive, but might stay in stock longer. We also have the three other bundles, too, which are not bad. I always keep on saying if you have, like, a kid or two kids, it's like, it's the easiest bundle. It's going to show up in two days. Ant Online's legit. All around good to go. But we do have a lot of, like I said, a lot of these in-store stock. Best Buy, as well, might be having some GPU drops. If I have a chance to, I might go tweet out a GPU as well. So maybe be on the lookout for that in case you guys would like. But basically, we should be seeing a lot of good movement with everything with that. So uh, Best Buy will watch and see. They did go do a proper confirmed drop earlier on this week too as well. Uh, so we'll just, like I said, keep that in mind. We'll watch the stock. We'll look for the stock. And we can kind of go from there. And hopefully we can see some good movement flowing around. So if you guys do want to, be on the lookout. Nothing confirmed for Best Buy though. Uh, we've also been seeing a few rumors for more of them also having in-store extra stock in general. Now also don't forget guys too. We have still, still been seeing PlayStation Direct. Uh, I just kind of just, it's been for a while, so it's kind of what I just kind of throw it in there for the whatever. Basically, the PlayStation track stock with the PlayStation Disc Edition God of War bundles for five sixty, and also the digitals, I don't know how, are somehow still in stock too. So if you guys just want to go check out the PlayStation Direct website and go and see if you guys can get some easy stock with that, I'd say go for it. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's literally from PlayStation itself, all around good stock. So please go check on that and go and get some hookup in case you guys would want to. But yeah, all around good stuff. Uh, shipping for here, I think, has also been maybe being partially delayed, kind of like for Walmart 2 from what we've seen. But I think no big issues, no cancels or whatever. So keep that in mind. Now to kind of wind down the day too as well, besides all the in-store stock, we've also been seeing, I think, a few more different locations too as well in, like, say, Canada. So just in case you guys want to go check the UK and Canada, they all have been getting some good amount of stock as well for all the God of War bundles from like game, I think GameStop in Canada, etc. as well. Now we've still been watching more for Gamefly to do any potential restocks. They have been quiet. Costco's also been kind of on the quieter side too for any of their additional either in-store stock or online bundle drops. I haven't seen too much movement. I wish we could see more of it at the end of the day. Now when it does come for other various stock too, we're still watching for Sam's Club. They did go do a restock not too long ago, although I'd probably check maybe Walmart stock online first. We also have been watching for all the Fred Myers, Kroger, Smith stores, and all those locations to potentially have some extra stock too as well floating around. Now what we mean by that too is just either check your apps, check your local in stores, and kind of put them all together just to kind of go and see how the vibe kind of goes and plays on out. Uh, and we have seen a lot of weekend drops, so maybe we'll watch the weekend and see if any of those places, Myers, BJ's online, Beaches and stores, whatever, all that stuff might have stock or not. Now, don't forget, too, as well, for all the other mid-tier spots like Verizon, who have had to add stock up on the stores and also on the apps, I believe, and also just for online, depending on your region, and as well with the PC Richards and Dorma, Dell, and all those other mid-tier spots, such as like Beach Photos, etc. So keep those all just in mind in case you guys would want to check out stock and be aware of it. 
We also, of course, check out the military too. So while more on videos and updates, so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. We have the Amazon links down below for all the signup links. Definitely go check those on out. We'll give you guys more details throughout the day. Twitter and Twitch stream down below if you guys want to go and follow. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place.